Yeah, the, the course enrollment has been up to 180 to 200 students. So it's a fairly high enrollment course, uh, especially for a community engaged learning course of this type. I think for some students, a stumbling block in their education is that they have difficulty associating what they're doing in the classroom with their prior knowledge and also with their sense of real world issues, how they understand real world issues. Also, students are uh, engaged in um, very intense academic learning on campus that they don't often have the opportunity to try out outside the classroom. There are few opportunities for them to make linkages between analytical frameworks or concepts, academic concepts, with their life experience. Um, or even to uh, try to gain new experiences that would allow them to test out what the theories uh, that they're learning in the classroom. So um, community engaged learning tries to rectify this by uh, integrating experience, personal experience, group experience with academic learning in the classroom through traditional pedagogical methods like lecturing. Um, so another reason it's important to introduce community engaged learning is just that the campus sometimes for students feels like a bubble. That it's a social milieu that students are immersed in for three to four years that they they don't often break out of especially Brock is a it tends to be a commuter campus there are students in residence as well um, but students are going between their residence room and the classroom or between home and the classroom and not getting a lot of opportunity to be in the community to to um, meet people who are not students and professors um, to really uh, express themselves and their ideas to people other than their peers, or to try on try out different skills that they might be learning and practicing in the classroom.